The parking lot here at the high school would normally be packed with teachers busy prepping for classes to start on September 2nd, but instead the few vehicles belong mainly to the support staff. The president of the Peace River North Teachers Association says she realizes that with stores filled with the latest and greatest in back to school items, it is disappointing not knowing when and if students will return. I just remember that anticipation, right, as a parent, even when my kids were in school and how exciting it was. And I just thought, how sad for everybody, how sad for teachers and how sad for parents and students that they don't, that that is kind of really diminished. The labor dispute is keeping teachers from entering their classrooms as they wait for the BC Teachers Federation and the provincial government to go toe to toe on contract mediation and get a settlement drawn up. And with BCTF we have uh, you know really moved on a lot of our proposals that we have given to the government. So we have Vince Reddy as a mediator at this point and uh, he is going back and forth between the government and BCTF. The dispute doesn't just interrupt the teachers, it also impacts the school board in laying out the groundwork for the year. We're preparing for a September 2nd start as we normally would. We're hoping for the best and we're preparing for other contingencies as they arise. If there's picket lines, then sadly school won't start on time and we'll, like everybody else, will anxiously await the breakthrough that leads to a settlement. Weeb says the teachers union is hopeful that a settlement will come quickly, but are prepared for continued job action. At this point, unless there is a, a settlement reached with BCTF and the government, we will be back on the picket line on Tuesday, September 2nd. Teachers here in the Energetic City are expected to hit the picket lines once again on Thursday or Friday. Leah Murray, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.